Well, hello there. I hope you're all doing well. I'm Frankie, and this is the Think Tank. So I want to talk about something that's a little bit different for me. I would like to talk about Putin and his war crimes. The International Crim Criminal Court has now put out an arrest warrant for him. So let's take a look here. And uh, check out the no goodery that he's been up to. So the International Criminal Court arrest warrant for Putin over war crimes in Ukraine. I am, before I get very much further into this, I just want to make sure all is going well. Okay, friends. So the International Criminal Court, or the ICC, issued an arrest warrant on Friday against Russian President, President Vladimir Putin, accusing him of being responsible for war crimes committed in the Ukraine. Moscow has repeatedly denied the accusations of the atrocities during its one-year invasion of the Ukraine, right next to them. A spokesperson for Russia's foreign ministry said the arrest warrant against Putin has no significance whatsoever. So it sounds like Putin doesn't just want to run his country, he wants to run all of the countries. The decision of the International Criminal Court have no meaning in our country, including from a legal point of view. Foreign Ministry person Maria Z said on her Telegram channel, Russia is not a party to the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court and bears no obligation under it. The ICC issued the warrant for Putin's arrest on suspicion on of unlawful deportation of children and unlawful transfers of people from the territory of Ukraine to the Russian Federation. Putin is only the third serving president to have been issued an ICC arrest warrant after Sudan's Omar al-Bashir and Libya's Muammar Gaddafi. Separately, the courts issued warrants for Maria A., L.B., Russia's Commissioner for Children's Rights, on the same charges. The court's president, Peter H., said that in a video statement that while the ICC's judges have issued the warrants, it will be up to the international community to enforce them. The court has no police force of its own to enforce warrants. The ICC is doing its part of the work as a court of law, the judge issued arrest warrants. The execution depends on international cooperation. The Kremlin spokesperson, Dmitry P., said Russia found the very questions raised by the ICC outrageous and unacceptable, and that any decisions of the court were null and void with respect to Russia. The arrogance of this entire country, I mean, I can't say so much for the people that live there, they're not there by choice, I'm sure. But the people that they have running their country are, they have to be some of the most self-righteous, sociopathic individuals that I've seen in a very long time running a country. If not, he might be, he might even be up there with one of the worst, if not the worst. However, this warrant does mean that Putin can be arrested and sent to Hog if he travels to any ICC member states. Ukraine is not a member of the court, but it has granted the ICC jurisdiction over its territory, and ICC prosecutor Karim Khan has visited four times since opening an investigation a year ago. Senior Ukrainian officials applaud the ICC's decision with the country's prosecutor general uh, Andrew K. hailing it as historic for Ukraine and the entire international law system. Andrew Y., chief of the presidential staff, said the issuing the warrant was only the beginning. 
The ICC said that its pretrial chamber found there were reasonable grounds to believe that each suspect bears responsibility for the war crime of unlawful deportation of population, that of unlawful transfer of population from occupied areas of Ukraine to the Russian Federation in prejudice of Ukrainian children. So the statement from the court says there are reasonable grounds to believe that Mr. Putin bears individual criminal responsibility for the child abductions for having committed the acts directly, jointly with others and or through others for his failure to exercise control properly over civilian and military subordinates who committed these acts. On Thursday, a UN-backed inquiry cited Russian attacks against civilians in Ukraine, including systematic torture and killing in occupied regions among potential issues that amount to war crimes and possibly crimes against humanity. The sweeping investigation also found crimes committed against Ukrainians on Russian territory, including deported, they deported Ukrainian children who were prevented from returning with their families. A, filtri a filtration system aimed at singling out Ukrainians for detention and torture and inhumane detention conditions. News of the arrest warrant comes ahead of a planned state visit to Moscow next week by Chinese President XIJ, <laughs> which is likely to cement much closer ties between Russia and China, just as relations between Moscow and the West hit new lows. Russia has been placed under unprecedented, unprecedented Western sanctions since it sent tens of thousands of troops into Ukraine on February 24th, 2022. So Putin has been basically up, been up to no good. He, um, uh, he's got, I don't know if he's got people brainwashed into believing that his way is, way is right. I don't know what he is doing to make his cohorts agree with him. I, I don't know how they make it in their own heads that any of this is okay. These are actual lives they are taking. This is not a story. This is not make believe. This is something that this man and his subordinates are doing to another country. They have basically wiped the Ukraine population off the map. I don't know, crimes against humanity, I would think so. So friends, let me know what you think of all of this down below. Um, I'll keep my eye on this like I do the rest of my cases and see if anything else kind of comes about. We have a very sick man running, mentally sick in the head, running one of the largest militaries, one of, hmm, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about his thoughts. I don't know how he thinks. I don't want to know how he thinks. I just know he needs to be stopped. So friends, with that said, I appreciate you and I will absolutely see you next time.